Romans chapter 16, verse number 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So this is talking about deceivers that are causing divisions contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Is it, again, is this something that, that Pastor Aaron is being accused of? No. In fact, it's the opposite. He's, he's not you know, being accused of, of causing divisions, but being ecumenical and just saying, you know what ecumenical means? And just, just so you're aware what ecumenical means and what it's always meant, and that there isn't just all these multiple definitions, and when it's used, especially in religious context, it's people trying to bring about like all the religions of the world together. Or at the very least, crossing all denominational lines and saying, hey, let's all join together and work together and we're going to all work for this common cause. That's ecumenicalism. Attending a Baptist conference where all the speakers are Baptist is not ecumenicalism. And you know, if you're going to judge ecumenicalism by who's in the audience, then... <laughs> how about you look at your own self, right? How, how about you look at, at any other event? Oh, well, you're ecumenical because other people showed up to that. Because you could control, first of all, who shows up to an event. I bet if we, if we held, and this is, I, you know what? I tried to do this. And we're of Truth Baptist Church, have a prophecy conference. Well, and I did do this. Now, I didn't get as much interest as I wanted. I didn't get the, the word out in time. But you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to get people from other backgrounds and other religions into our church to hear that conference. Why? Because people are interested in end time stuff. A lot of people are interested in that. It's, it's, very, it's, 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 it's something that people be willing to come to a Baptist church, maybe even if they're a Catholic. And you know why I want to do that? Because I want them to hear the truth. Because I want to be able to teach them the truth. Not because I'm joining with, with Catholic pat priests and, and you know, these other people and saying, hey, let's all do this work. No. But I am trying to get other people to hear the truth. That's not ecumenical. That's trying to reach people with the truth. So it's silly and ridiculous, okay? But that's what's been brought forward. Now, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 is, is one more place where the Bible talks about people who are supposed to, we're supposed to separate from. Verse number 10 of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. The Bible says, For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now, them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him that he may be ashamed. Okay, we see another example, right? Okay, note him, have no company with him. You're breaking fellowship with someone. Why? Because they're not working and eating their own bread, but being busybodies. And then it says, yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. But this is discipline. This is the tough love where you're saying, you know what, I'm not going to fellowship with you anymore because you ought to be working and, and, and paying for yourself and providing for yourself and not just being a busybody with all this idle time on your hands and getting involved in other people's business. Isn't it interesting that it's the busybodies that are consumed with other men's matters? They're the ones that are supposed to be noted and not having company with. But what do we see? A bunch of busybodies getting involved in other people's business and, oh, who are your friends? No, oh, what do you do? You know, and you're going to be the one breaking fellowship? That's not what I see in the Bible. 